They tried to make me go to rehab, but I won't go, go, go. Yes, I've been bad, but when I come back, you know, no, no. I ain't got the time, and if my daddy thinks I'm fine, they try to make me go to rehab, but I won't go, go, go. Thank you. Hey, hello, everybody. It's Saturday night. Welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show, and thank you, Richard Cheese and Lounge Against the Machine. Oh, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. So, Fabulous. Okay. So, uh, did you enjoy Halloween, everybody? Did you have a good Halloween? You know what I loved about it this year? People really seemed to make an effort, go that extra mile when it came to carving those scary pumpkin faces. I thought I'd show you a couple of my favourites. There's this one here, which I love. That's great. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's another one coming up here. That's pretty good. And the next one is quite scary. Okay, have a look at this. I mean, that's... What's he done? Looks like he's eating a whole boy band, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, here's a story that you, you might enjoy. Uggy, the Oscar-winning dog in the film The Artist, I don't know if you saw that film, but a very charming animal performer, he has written his autobiography. It covers his time as a puppy all the way up to the seedy sex of Hollywood. It's a real wags to bitches story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, you know how excited it is when you when you uh, you're pouring your cereal and you get four shreddies stuck together at the same time. You feel that excitement. <laughs> you obviously lead richer lives than I do, because for me that's a high point of the day. Well, imagine peeling a banana and discovering this. Yes, the ladies went first on that one. <laughs> it's a triple banana. The only fruit you can buy in Ann Summers. Uh, you should enjoy that though, ladies. Apparently it counts as three of your five a day, okay? Uh, I mentioned already, but let's hear it again. I'm thrilled to hear it's Richard Cheese and Lounge Against the Machine right there. I ain't got the time, and if my daddy thinks I'm fine, they try to make me go to rehab, but I won't go, go, go. Wow. Thank you. Okay, let's see who else is on the show this evening. We've got a great show lined up for you. My first guest is a fully qualified pop star. He's also host of The Extra Factor over on ITV2. Yes, it's Ollie Moores. <laughs> Young Ollie is with us this evening. Hello. Ollie, I just want to check yes. I've got my facts right. You're, you're from Essex, is that right? I am from Essex, yeah. He's a true born son of Essex, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I hear, I don't know if you know this, they're going to put a blue plaque up uh, on the wall of the tanning salon where you were born. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I have you ever it. had a? Uh, have you? You can't be a man. Can't be vajazzled, I've, can a man? No, no, no. I've, no, I've never had a vajazzled. Have you been no. pajazzled? Is that I've what they I've never do? had a pajazzled. No. <laughs> have you been no, tempted? No, I've never attempted it. No. You sure? Because I'm going out with the boys after the show, and we're all getting pajazzled. Really? <laughs> no, it's not my thing. I'm afraid. No, I like the. If a woman's got one, then fine. That's nice. Oh, I see. So you've encountered a, a vajazzle in that uh, context. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> he's here, and we're going to have a lot more to talk about than I first thought. As Ollie Moores is on the show. Oh, yeah. Who knew? Thank you so much for sharing as well. Uh, next up, we have the very beautiful, the very talented star of the hit TV show Hunted. It's Melissa George. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a beautiful song. Melissa, great to have you on the show. I'm thrilled you're here. Thank you for having me. Is it true for Hunted that you actually went to a spy school? I did go to a spy school, yes. But surely the first rule of spy school is you should never talk about spy school. That's right. That's right. So you've broken the first rule of spy I school? I actually just did. So you're, you're just the worst spy in the world. <laughs> I mean... All right, Melissa George, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thrilled you're on the show. Thank you for joining us, Melissa. My next guest is, I'm thrilled he's here. He is, without doubt, one of my favourite comedians. Mr. Frankie Boyle, ladies and gentlemen. Where's Frankie? He's an acquired taste. <laughs> uh, Frankie, uh, this is true, you have just finished, I, I know people have seen this story in the papers, you've just finished appearing at the High Court for four days, haven't you? That's right, I've still got the suit, here okay. we are. <laughs> uh, Frankie is, the people say he's an angry comedian, one of the angriest comedians ever to come out of Scotland. I like to think of him as Jimmy Very Cranky. <laughs> I was kind of taken aback that the crankies were swingers, though, weren't you? I know. I like to think that if I was at a swingers party and my car keys came out of the bowl, 
and the cranky stood up, I'd have gone, fuck it, you can keep the car. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie Boyle, ladies and gentlemen, there he is. <laughs>